In today's MailJet tutorial for beginners, we are going to go over all of the different features inside MailJet that you will have to know to successfully use MailJet as an email marketing tool for your business. Now, at the end, I will also go over the question if MailJet actually is worth the hype, so make sure to stay tuned for that. To get started, head over to the MailJet website. Now, as you can see, over 40,000 companies are actually already using MailJet, like DHL, American Express, Microsoft, NHL, and Wikipedia. Yeah. So to get started, simply just head over to the button on the top right and then this will basically redirect you onto the sign up form where you will have to put in your first name, last name, as well as the email address and password. Once you've did so, you can create yourself an account. Now, actually MailJet does allow you to sign up for free, which we are going to take advantage of in today's video. So to get started, just confirm that you are going to sign up to the free plan. Now, when it comes to the actual pricing of MailJet, you can see that actually for 6,000 emails per month, you can actually go for the completely free plan. However, if you, for example, do want to send out 15,000 emails per month, this is actually going to mean that you will have to either go for the essential or premium plan. This is going to come down to the actual features which you will actually need. So for example on Essential you are going to get unlimited contacts, you can actually remove the major branding, you are going to get 500 email previews and a lot more. However on Premium you can actually also create up to 20 sub accounts, you are going to get 2000 email previews and basically you will just have to go through these features and, to and basically decide on your own which plan is going to be the best for you. Now one thing which is important to notice because this is actually pretty uncommon in email marketing is that actually MailJet is going to charge you based on the emails sent out and not on the actual contacts. However, for the free plan, you are going to have a maximum of 1,500 contacts. Either way, once you are on the dashboard, this is how it is going to look like. Right here, you are going to see a welcome guide, which you can actually do, but I would recommend you to just go through these steps, which I will show you. So let's actually get started by heading over to contacts and by heading over to our contacts list. Now, this contacts list is actually one of the key features of our email marketing client because this right here is basically going to give us an overview of all of the different contacts that we can actually contact and which we can actually send emails out to. So in this case, you can either create a new contact list right here. So let's actually do this. And um, we can just say that this is going to be our main list. We can then continue. And then actually, as for the list source, if you do not have any contacts yet, you can just select empty list. However, in some cases, if you are, for example, migrating from another, from another email marketing provider, you can simply just select upload a file and then you can upload your CSV file. And this is actually what I'm going to do in today's video. Then click on continue. Now we will have to actually drag our CSV file onto this. So let me quickly do this. I'm just going to drag this onto this right here. And now we will have to basically map the correct data fields. So this basically just means that inside our Excel spreadsheet, which I've just uploaded, there are going to different there are going to be different kind of columns essentially. And what we will have to do right here is to basically match the column from the Excel spreadsheet onto the correct property on MailJet. So in this case, the first name right here is going to be the first name. So I'm just going to create a new property. This is going to be first name right here. The import type is going to be string. Then I'm just going to click on, then I'm going to click on create. And now this has been correctly matched. We are going to do the same for the last name right here. So I'm just going to create a new property. This is going to be last name. The import type is going to be string as well. I'm just going to create this. And now we've matched these data fields correctly. We can actually also continue this by going over the phone number, contact owner, uh, we can go over the last activity date and so on. But I'm not actually going to do this right now. Let's me, le let me actually rather just click on continue and let's actually just certify that we, that we have actually obtained all of the email subscribers legally. So I'm just going to create a list right now. And this now usually takes a couple of seconds. And as you can see, now we have our list added. So we can now view all context lists right here. We we are going to see our main list, which we have just created, where we can then see all of the contacts inside this. We can then open up the contacts by simply clicking on them. And we are then going to see a, basically an in-depth overview of all of the statistics and email history of the lists, which this contact has been asso uh, associated with and the contact properties, which in this case would be first name as well as last name. 
So actually you can also filter this, but I'm not going to do this right now. However, if you do want to, for example, add this contact onto another list, or if you do want to add this to an exclusion list, you can do so right here. And you can actually also completely delete this contact if you want to. Now actually I would recommend you to delete contacts whenever they are inactive because basically contacts which never open up emails aren't really that worth it for your business and it isn't really worth it to continuously send out new emails onto those contacts which basically is just going to burn your money. So, so make sure to keep that in mind. Now in this case I'm now going to opt out of this. Let's now actually head over to pages right here and then let's actually create a new page for our email marketing list so that we can actually then get email subscribers automatically. So in this case, I'm just going to click on start from scratch and I'm just going to name this lead magnet one. So I'm just going to use this page. And now this is going to be pretty straightforward. This is basically going to work as kind of a drag and drop editor. So I'm just going to add a text onto this and I'm just going to say um, sign up to our email marketing list. We can then actually add a form onto this. So let me actually quickly do this. I'm just going to drag this right underneath that. And then as you can see right here, we will have to select our form. Now, as of right now, we haven't created one yet. So what we will have to do is to click on create a new form. And then this is going to redirect us onto the form setup. So I'm just now going to name this sign up form and we will then have to go through the form design. So let's just quickly go over this and I'm then just going to use this uh, basic default template. I'm going to use this. However, we are also going to customize this. Let me show you this. So by default, this is just going to say sign up to our newsletter. I'm going to leave the text as the default. However, you can simply select it and then customize it right here. However, as for the fields, as for the attributes right here, I do want to add something onto this. I do not only want to get the email, rather I do also want to get the first name as well as last name. To do this, I'm simply going to select the text from the forms on the bottom left right here and I'm then going to select the first name property. I'm now going to actually drag this to the top and actually then I'm simply just going to repeat this with the other, uh, let's actually select text. Let's drag this onto this and let's now select last name right here. So we can then actually save this and once again, I'm going to simply drag this to the top. Now let's actually change the text. So I'm just going to rename this to first name so that this does actually look nicer. And I'm then actually also going to rename this to last name like this. Now we are actually going to have our sign up form. So to actually use this, simply just save this and apply this on the top right. And now we are going to have a working sign up form. We will then actually also have to add the email details right here. So, so this is basically going to include the subject line, sender name and mail address. So in my case, I'm just going to name this thank you for signing up. The sender name is going to be Elias, myself. And as for the email address, I'm just going to add a new address. And this is then just going to be basically right here. You will then have to put in your own custom domain. I'm not going to do this in today's video, but this is going to be pretty straightforward. And you will then actually also have to add your own custom sender address. So right here, I would strongly recommend you to actually avoid free webmails like Gmail and so on. Rather simply add your own domain onto this, okay? It's going to be worth it, guys. And if you do not want to invest a lot of money, you can simply use tools like Hostinger to simply get a domain for as cheap as a dollar. So please make sure to actually do this. Now, either way, I'm not going to set this up right now. Let me now actually show you how to set up campaigns and how to actually send out emails. To do that, simply head over to campaigns, click on my campaigns and right here you are then going to have the option to basically create a new campaign for your email marketing subscribers. To do this, you will have to first of all click basically add a name. So I'm just going to name this newsletter one and then we will have to actually select the contact list. So in this case, I'm going to select my own my main list. I'm going to save this now and we will then actually have to also design the email. Now by default, Mailjet is going to give you guys quite a lot of different default templates templates, which you can use. Um, I'm not a particular fan of these, but these are going to work perfectly fine if you are just starting out. So I'm actually going to use this one right here. And as you can see, this is how it is going to look right now. This is going to take a couple of seconds and then you are basically going to have the option to select each of these elements and you can then once again, same as before, um, you can then actually set basically customize each of these elements right here. Perfect, so let me actually delete this section. You can then actually also go ahead 
Yes, you can actually select this, you can then change the link, you can change the text and so on. You can actually also change the font right here if you do want to. On the left, you will have to then actually put in your subject line as well as preview text, as well as sender name and sender address. Now, this subject line and the preview text basically should just be something which is going to spark interest and which is going to incentivize the people to actually open up your email. Now, additionally, you can then actually also simply just change this to the text if you want to, and you can then actually, same as before, add new elements from the left right here. This is going to be same as in the forms view as well as in the landing page view. So let's now actually opt out of this. Let me now show you how to set up automations on MailChat. To do this, click on my workflows right here and you're then basically going to have the option to create marketing automations on MailJet. You're going to have four different default scenarios which you can actually use. Um, however, let's, act nah, let's actually go with this welcome one right here and you will then have to go through the welcome, uh, basically workflow details. Uh, you will have to put in the title, language and you can then actually set up the workflow. Now, Actually, to be completely honest, I think the workflow is not really a well feature on the MailJet. There are just a lot of other tools which are going to basically have way more features and which are going to be way more advanced. And MailJet as a whole, I can't really recommend it to you guys. There are many different better competitors out there like Brevo, MailerLite or like ActiveCampaign. I will leave you links to those tools down below along with links to beginner tutorials for them. I honestly think that MailChat isn't a good choice if you are starting out with email marketing. Either way, that's it for today's tutorial. I hope this was helpful. If it was, make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.